Nights review number three of Lord of the Flies covering chapters two through four. First things first, I want you to remember that Lord of the Flies is a story about war. It's written by Golding to tell us something about the way humans are. We're looking at six different things today, but let's start with the beastie. In chapter two, one of the little ones mentions that something snake-like has come in the dark. We've been told repeatedly that the island is a good place, that there's nothing there. And Ralph goes on to argue that there are no snakes here. They're in like India or something. Now, think about the little ones. They're six, they're kindergartners. And everyone they know has just died. They're in the middle of a war where they've had taken from their parents. So of course they're going to have nightmares. It is neat in this scene to see Ralph as he steps into his role as leader. He's all like, hey chaps, there's no such thing as a beastie here. It's a good island, which assuages his many fears. That is until Jack kind of mentions that he thinks he's been hunted while he was hunting. Eesh, creepy. But I don't know about you, I'm starting to see that our boy Jack's going a little crazy. He's all about, let's hunt something. When everybody else is like, we probably ought to, you know, build some sandcastles and then get off this island. He's all like, big blood, big blood, I'm gonna kill something. Even though Jack's obsessed with hunting, it's important to know that he, like Ralph, are both natural born leaders. Check out the way that people follow both of them depending on when they get the spirit to. We need to kind of count the little ones out from this point on. With the exception of the kids in the middle, most of them aren't gonna do much. But then we got Simon, the kid pictured here. He helps build the shelters. He's a really nice kid too. He's kind, helps some of the little ones get some fruit, and you'll notice that he goes off by himself a lot. He goes out and hangs out with the butterflies. Also, he's sickly. He's the kid that almost faints in the beginning of chapter one. Later, we're going to see some of his other illnesses. He's becoming more important to the plot just because he's nice. We have some other characters that are entering slowly. Enter Roger, a choir boy, a little bit violent, is seen throwing rocks at Henry, a little in. He's going to become one of our avid hunters. And if Piggy is Ralph's lieutenant, then Roger's about to become Jack's. Which brings us to a little bit of discussion about this whole pig thing. So, Jack and Roger paint their faces, gather up the whole team, and they go hunt some pigs. And they get one. And it changes things. Mainly because, since they took the twins, the fire goes out. And of course, while the fire is out, a ship comes by. And fire is going to get really, really important. Yeah! Look what I have created! I have made fire! I have made fire! For one thing, Ralph's gonna get a little obsessed about fire. Not in the same way that Jack is about hunting, but pretty darn close. And we're slowly gonna watch as Ralph loses his mind, just like everyone else. Piggy is the only thing that's gonna keep Ralph sane. Even then, he still sort of slips at times. Next few pages, you're going to watch as savagery takes over the island. Continue to track your symbols and specifically look, how do painted faces change the way the boys act? Hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Have a great one.